good morning. I think I'm gonna vlog today. So got my coffee ready. I have switched to completely drinking decaf. Um, I don't talk about this on my channel a lot, but I, I do struggle with anxiety and I have for forever. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like whenever I have caffeine in my life, like I have so much anxious energy that I don't need caffeine energy. So I make decaf coffee um, and I like to use, you probably saw, I use the reusable pods. Like I got the Keurig forever ago and as you know, a lot of the boxes on my channel that I show are like eco-friendly and low plastic or low waste. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to strive for more of that in my life. And I don't think it was focusing on me. Thank you, camera. <laughs> um, so I made the decision. I had the Keurig, so I don't want to get rid of the Keurig, right? Like that plastic has been created. I, I have it. I don't want to buy another coffee maker. So instead, I just use the reusable K-cups. I think I, I just do the Dunkin' Donuts decaf coffee blend. Um, and then I buy blueberry syrup. Y'all know I like some blueberry coffee and then whatever creamer I want. I know creamer's not good for you, but it's good for your soul. So also in case you're wondering about these beautiful flowers behind me, they were sent to me by Enjoy Flowers. So I'll talk about them a little bit in the video today. Um, sent to me free for review. This is one of their Mother's Day bouquets and it's so pretty. I love the different colors in it. I'll show it up close in a minute. Um, but they remind this like totally reminded me that like i need to buy flowers for my mom on mother's day this year because i've never done that before last year i tried but i did it like a few days before mother's day and i ordered it and then at like 5 p.m i'm not going to say the company that i ordered from but at like 5 p.m on mother's day they emailed me saying that they were out of stock of my order and i was like okay well like now what do i do like all the flowers are sold out like now i can't do it so this year I'm gonna get her some flowers. So here they are there. Now I will say I have had these for a couple of days. They were delivered during the work week and I just try not to film anything during the work week. These have started to bloom. They had not bloomed. As you can see, not all of them have bloomed yet, but none of them had really bloomed. Um, and I just love the different colors. I probably should have trimmed the um, stems a little bit shorter, but honestly, I'm just not good about those kind of things. <laughs> I'm like an adult, but like a half adult, but I just think it's so pretty. Now they did give me a code to give you 15% off if you want to order flowers or Mother's Day bouquet. As a reminder, that is coming up. It is May 9th, which is a Sunday. Um, and like, no, they don't really deliver Sundays. So you have to get them before, like either the Saturday or the Friday or order them after. But if, don't forget, order your mom's with flowers. Also, not gonna lie, I was looking on their website like before I started filming this just to make sure. And what I love is they have this one click mom's bouquet which makes it super easy wait why is it not working oh because i'm stupid that's why um and it's just super easy you can just order it boom boom a lot of other websites i feel like you have to click through and you can make selections this one i don't think you, you just like, get the bouquet you know what i mean that they have but uh, i really really like this one and of course it smells good i love having fresh flowers to be honest i just don't do it enough so so anyway if you want to buy your mom flowers I got you hooked up with a code. <laughs> also yesterday, I was I was so stressed yesterday, which I'm filming this on Saturday, just to let you know. And Friday, I was it was a very stressful day for me. And so I have a list of things I need to do. Um, I have some videos to film today. So I'm gonna do that besides the vlog. I don't have a ton of boxes right now. This is kind of the, the downtime of the month where there's just not as many subscription boxes to unbox, which honestly I need the break because I am burnt out from everything basically. Um, but there's some extra things I need to do. So I have the Deca created summer box and new Americana box and I filmed the unboxing portion, but I always do the styling and a uh, little known fact, I film the styling usually like a couple weeks after I film the unboxing because doing it all in a day is just like, ugh. So I'm gonna film that. You won't see any of that because I can't sneak peek any of the sneak peeks, but just know that those videos are coming in May. Um, and I did, oh, if you missed my hair transformation video, I, that video was so fun. It didn't get pushed on YouTube. Like I don't think as many people got it pushed to them because it's not a subscription box. It's a little bit outside of what I do. Um, if you haven't seen it, it was such a fun video, but I forgot to take before pictures and the company asked for before and after pictures. So <laughs> we're gonna have to take the before pictures today. So I need to do the same makeup, same outfit. Um, that's something I need to do and then I need to just clean. The only like actual plan I have this weekend 
is that the post office opens at 10 a.m. today and I had a slip in my mailbox yesterday or my P.O. box yesterday. So I need to go at 10 and it's like 8.30. I don't know what time it is now. 8.30? 8.44. Um, I need to go pick that up. I think it might be the dot box. I think dot box is back. So we'll talk about that. I, that video will go up this week if that is in case the, in fact, it's early. The box says in my P.O. box. Also, clearly there's a vlog on Sunday. There's no subscription box Sunday. And that's, I just don't have enough videos or boxes, excuse me, to film a subscription box Sunday. So you get a vlog instead. <laughs> it's time to head to the post office and I think I also have some Amazon packages at the hub at my apartment that I need to get so that's the plan Welcome to my mess. I have Trader Joe's bags that I need to get um, later that I haven't yet. And uh, if you're wondering why I was wearing a winter jacket, it's because it's like 50 degrees outside right now. It's the morning. It's supposed to get up to 60, but we've had like this like cold front. Like it was spring and then spring just like went away. So went to the post office, as you saw, got some packages. Um, so I'm gonna open some of them up. I always like to take a peek when I get new boxes in. Um, I do have my dot box, so I'm actually not going to open that one up um, because I, if, when I open the box up, it's hard to take a thumbnail with it. So I'm going to film that later today. I also got a new skill tree box, so I'm curious to see. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, this skill tree box looks so, so fun. I think, and I need to do, I need to look it up again, but this was sent to me free for review and like each month they send you like a thing to learn how to do. And this month it's indoor gardening. Um, which is so fun. They do like, I think I've seen candle making as an example or something. So I might actually do that in this vlog because honestly that sounds really, really fun. So we might do that later. And then I got a package that was opened by US Customs. This was overnighted, priority overnighted through FedEx. So I'm wondering what box this is. Ooh, okay, it's the Artful box. Customs opened it. So hopefully, I think they like opened everything in this box. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like all the stuff is still in it, but I'm like, it's not going to be the same experience unboxing it because customs has already gotten their fingers in it and not put it back the way that it was found. They like literally unwrapped everything in here. So that's disappointing, but this does come from the UK. So I guess that is to be expected, but um, I'll save this box for a subscription box Sunday. So to be honest, now what I need to do is put makeup on my face to film uh, a video. I'll have, I have the dot box. I have another box, a new box on my channel. And is that it? I don't have a lot this weekend and I have a, I'm saving some for next week's subscription box Sunday. Um, and then I need to take those before and after pictures, which I really don't want to do because then I have to change my clothes. <laughs> and that's a lot of work, but I think I'll do the videos first and then do that. Cause if I don't have energy for that today, I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, I did also start like doing the decorated stuff. I like have it set up, but I haven't filmed it yet. And I should have filmed it because now it's cloudy out. So the lighting sucks. And I need to take all this stuff out so that it's not a complete mess in my apartment. But here we are. I also just realized I have not eaten breakfast. <laughs> I do this all the time on the weekends. It's so bad, but like I drink my cup of coffee and it fills me enough. And then I forget about breakfast. And what time is it? Oh, it's 1020. I was up at seven though, or six. So, well, let's say I woke up at six. I did not get out of bed till eight. Cause I was like, Katrina, you've got to sleep more. So I don't know, I guess I'll have a yogurt for breakfast and then do my makeup. Time to film, did my makeup. And I just feel like the flowers are really pretty behind me. So 
we're gonna do that. I'm wearing the outfit I was wearing for part of the hair video because <laughs> I still need to take those pictures and I'm like, I don't wanna change outfits. Like that's a lot of work. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna wear this for all the videos I'm filming today, but I'm only filming two. So that's not that bad. Also, I realized I filmed myself unboxing this during the week. Like I think I got it Wednesday. So I'll insert the clip here and talk a little bit more about Enjoy Flowers. So this is what the flowers look like when you open the box up. On the back of the box, it gives you instructions on how to get the flowers ready once they get sent to you. So this is exactly what the flowers look like in the box when you receive them. Um, and that's how they came to me. Um, so this is me obviously taking them out of the box. They were packaged really, really well. They are hinged with a plastic like zip tie into the cardboard so they can't move around. Um, so you can cut them out of that. So this is the Mother's Day bouquet that I'm unboxing, but they normally are just a regular subscription box. And as you can see, I'm struggling to get it open. What a surprise. Um, so like I said, they're normally a subscription where you get to pick between signature and farm bouquets. As you see, there's a um, beautiful sticker there. It's wrapped in paper and then there's plastic underneath, so packaged really nicely. Each month you get to choose regular, medium, or large bundles, and you get to decide on your delivery fre frequency and get the flowers sent to you that way. Now this is specifically the Mother's Day bundle, and that's what it looked like right when I got it. Super pretty. They, it comes with the plant food as well. Um, and like I showed earlier in the vlog, there's that one click thing where you can just order flowers directly for your mom. And this is what they look like when I got them out. Super duper pretty. Obviously not all of the flowers had bloomed. So what you saw today, more of the flowers had bloomed than when I originally got them. They do have three month, six month and 12 month gift subscriptions that you could give to your mom as well. In case you wanted to, you know, give her more than one bundle, you can get it sent to her, um, throughout the year. And yeah. I love these flowers. They are so, so pretty. So I just finished filming both of those boxes and they, they're fun. So they'll co go up th this coming week. But I have the, I have a banana bread scented candle, not lit. And I'm gonna show you here in a second. I've been having issues. I was lighting candles and I was just having issues with the ash from the candle, even though I trimmed the wicks, just ending up on any white surface that I had. And it was really frustrating. I don't know if it's just because the ventilation system in the apartment is not very good. So instead I bought these candle wax warmers and they are a game changer. If you have any issues or don't are afraid of flame, you, they're just like a hot plate that they sit on. Let me show you. Um, but the throw of the scent of the candle that comes off of them is so much stronger than if you just burn them. It's kind of essentially a wax melt if you do it that way, but let me show you. So here it is. I have this one just going in the kitchen right now. Um, this is just, I don't know, what does it say there? It does not gonna focus on me. There we go, candle warmers. I just got it from Amazon. It has like a little um, thing so you can switch it on and off and it's on right now. And I don't know, it just, it, it's a lifesaver. I realize it's lunchtime, um, so I switched back into my more comfy clothes, um, put on a large t-shirt. It's kind of a mess. I really need to like wash down everything. I might do that tomorrow though, because that might be too boring for the vlog, but I went grocery shopping yesterday and <laughs> was in the mood for hot dogs. I bought turkey hot dogs because I was like, I don't know, maybe that'd be cool. So that's what I got. And I, I think I, I might have tater tots in my freezer. I might do like hot dogs and tater tots. And I know, I know that's not healthy, but it's what I want right now. So <laughs> treat yourself. Oh, also, I think I'm gonna make homemade pizza tonight because I went to Trader Joe's the night before. Um, Rachel called me, my sister called me and she goes, you wanna go to TJ's for grocery shopping? I'm like, what the heck is TJ's? Like, what are you talking about? And she's like, Trader Joe's. I'm like. Oh, cool. And they have, um, you can just buy like pizza dough in a bag. So I bought that there. They probably have that at Kroger too, but I don't know, whatever. I went to Trader Joe's to Impulse Shop. I went to Kroger to actually do my grocery shopping. So I got the pizza sauce from Kroger that I need to put away. I just like put it on the counter. And then for the hot dogs, I went a little crazy. I don't, I'm not a ketchup girl at all, but on hot dogs, I like ketchup, mustard, and Try, I'm getting, I got some relish. So I got <laughs> Heinz tomato ketchup, but I got the one with no added sugars. It was more expensive, which is funny because it's like, if you add sugar, doesn't that cost money? I don't know. Plus it's a kind of smaller one. I don't like ketchup. I really, I only ever eat it on hot dogs or if the food tastes disgusting, then I use ketchup. Um, so I got that. And then I got this Vlasic squeezable homestyle relish, sweet relish. Cause I feel like relish is good on hot dogs. Um, and then I was like, but I really want a jar of pickles. So while well, I was at the relish, I got the pickles. And 
there's a um, mustard I want to try out. So I think it was the Fruit for Thought box for March. Was that the pickle box? We got this Pilsudski brand mustard with garlic and like stuff in it. So I kind of want to try that on the hot dog. It's not going to focus. There we go. Um, I don't have a grill, so I'm just going to pan cook the hot dogs. And I am stoked. I fully understand that hot dogs and tater tots for lunch and pizza for dinner. <laughs> is not healthy but it's saturday and it was a rough week and genuinely i just need to treat myself so i do have tater tots in the freezer but i forget that you have to preheat the oven and then they cook for 20 minutes and hot dogs don't take that long so i'm gonna have to go like clean something while i wait so actually while the oven preheats i pulled my hair back because it's way more comfy and zion health actually reached out to me and i actually knew about zion health before they reached out to me because i use their products and they are 100 percent cruelty free from the earth type of products and i am obsessed with their natural deodorant but they reached out to me with some of their hair care products and i was like i actually love your deodorant so i would love you know to get some of your hair products now the deodorant i'm talking about is the clay dry deodorant Actually, Kitty's boxes showed this in a video, I think an empties video, and I was like, I have to try that. This is a natural deodorant, so if you don't use natural deodorant, just know that there is a like detox period, so it probably won't work for you at first, and then it takes time. This is the only natural deodorant I've been able to get to work. Um, they show like the native deodorants all the time. They don't, I, I hate those. I don't think they work at all. This one, this one is their original scent. The original scent is kind of like a citrus scent, but there was a pamphlet that they sent me. There are so many scents of this deodorant, so I'm I'm gonna have to try more. There are bold ones, there's mini ones. I didn't know there's mini ones. I have to get those for when I travel in the future, but there's a lot of different scents of that. That's not why they sent this box to me. I'll show you the products that they did send to me, but I'm obsessed. But just know if, you, or if you're looking for unscented, the original is not unscented. There is a fragrance-free version that you can get though, but I just order mine on Amazon. So they sent me a little cute little PR package of their scalp care kits. And that really excited me because I have issues with my scalp sometimes. And I was like, I love your deodorant. So let me try these out. So they sent me three different things. The first thing that they sent me is the apple cider vinegar foaming scalp detox with apple stem cells. So that is what this one looks like. Then they also sent me the um, deep cleansing scalp scrub and hair scrub, oh, the scalp and hair scrub, which is in the scent green apple. So that one looks like that. And last but not least, they sent me their um, scalp nutrition serum. It's an intense scalp revitalizer with nourishing oils. And it does come in a little dropper bottle like this. And genuinely, I have really been enjoying the products. I've used them for a week and a half now. So with a detox foam, you put this on wet hair, um, apply a generous amount to scalp, using your fingertips, you massage into your scalp, leave it in for one to 10 minutes, shampoo and condition as usual. So you don't really have to change a lot about your routine, you just do this right at the beginning. And I have been enjoying this, it removes impurities and build up. I don't use a ton of dry shampoo and things like that, but if you do, this would be great as well, or if you have scalp issues like I do from time to time. Then this scrub, Oh, it smells like apples. It smells so good. You can see I've used a decent amount of it there and I've been really, really loving this. So you apply to clean, wet or damp scalp and hair and then you work through the ends of your hair and rinse. My hair has been so soft since using it. Now I've been using all three of these so it's probably because of all three but I really think it's the scrub. This makes you feel like it has argan oil in it. I think that's why. Um, it definitely makes you feel like really soft and conditioned. It's a little bit thicker of a scrub. I do still condition afterwards. I don't know if you need to. It doesn't say here so I usually still condition but I love this. It smells really good. Actually they put in a pamphlet about it too and I think it comes in vanilla coconut. Then they gave me green apple and there is pear blossom and I guess this one retails for $19.99 but I really really love this. And then last but not least the scalp nutrition serum. This smells so good. It smells like yummy peppermint and so like you just smell really really yummy throughout the day now i will say i use this a couple days in a row and i think that was just too much for my hair um so i think i'm gonna do it like once a week because it is really nourishing and it smells so good all the products smell well this one doesn't smell a lot but the other two do have a really nice scent and i can't wait to see like what the long-term benefits of using these products are but i will say my hair feels really soft my scalp is looking better but i've only been using it a week so i need to definitely use it longer but i'll link the products down below in case you're interested so i didn't film myself cooking lunch i mean it wasn't like 
chef status cooking, right? But I'll show you my food. I'm gonna eat now. And then I think it'd be really fun to do that skill tree box and plant some things. So that's my lunch. It's not exactly like healthy, but it looks really good. And this is gonna destroy my lipstick, but it's fine. Also, since I'm like alone all the time, I love to watch YouTube while I eat. And I have been obsessed with, her name is Scandish Home. Um, she does like cleaning videos, super like natural. I don't know. I need to clean. So I'm hoping this will motivate me to clean. I love her channel. So definitely check it out. If like cleaning, videos they did a house renovation recently so that kind of thing's your thing definitely check her out because i love her videos all right so i'm excited i i'm going to open the skill tree box i'm thinking that this is for april now this i think it's a new subscription box in general and is new to my channel and essentially this subscription box each month sends you something to learn a different skill so i think that that's a really really fun idea i'm totally for constant learning and constant growing so this will be super fun to open. Now, I do not know how much this box costs. This was sent to me free for review. And when I go to their website, the webpage isn't working right now. So I don't know how much this costs. If I can figure it out when I put up this video, then I'll let you know, but I'm gonna edit and upload it probably later today or tomorrow morning. So I don't know if I'll have the information ready, but I'll put the link and we can see, on, again, I don't know how much it costs, but every month you learn a different skill. So inside it says you get three seed packets, three peat pods, three planter pods, and three bamboo name tags. And then you need a cup of hot water and plastic wrap. The lighting is not good here, is it? But I don't have anything to prop my camera there. So um, I got three seed packets. The first one is sweet basil. Then I have kale. And last but not, I have watermelon. It's the heirloom variety, which is an heirloom smaller, which I guess makes sense for indoor gardening. Cause I was gonna say watermelons are not necessarily indoor gardening um, all the time. I don't know if you could have, I think you could have gotten different. Like I'm not sure either. I don't think everybody got the same thing. So I think you could have totally gotten different um, seeds for different things. And then it does come with three peat pods. So that's what they look like there so i'll need to get the hot water i think for these and then a set of three little planter vessels and then three wooden signs for each of the plants okay so it gives you this you can put it says start start date and end date i don't really know what that's for like when you start planting or when you finish i'm not really sure but it gives you um there's a reference so they do have a youtube video if you want to watch it um, and so that's cool that you can go there for references. Um, and it gives you all of the steps. So after gathering all of the box products, it says to soak the peat pods in hot water for six to eight minutes. So I need to go get my little water boiler on so that we can soak these bad boys. Okay, so got the hot water. Um, I don't know if I should put all three in this Pyrex. It's like a two cup Pyrex. I do have a bigger Pyrex. Maybe I could have used that, but I'm just going to drop all three of them in. It says to wait six to eight minutes. And if they get too big, then I might have to just add more water or move one of them out of it. But I think they'll fit. So it says to wait six to eight minutes and then we're going to remove them from the water. They're going to expand. You know, they're like that big. They're going to be like that big. And then we put them in these little cuppity cups for lack of a better word. And uh, for six to eight minutes, I'm gonna lay down because I feel tired. I'm not gonna lie, I legit almost fell asleep. <laughs> I just got so relaxed. I think that it's been six to seven minutes, but I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't timing it. So we're just gonna go with the fact that it is. So we got the three cups. Um, we need to remove the peat pods, which look like little sausages. <laughs> so it's definitely um, expanded quite a bit. And then it says place them into the planter pot. So like that. And it's like literally steaming. Like I don't think the camera's picking up on that, but it is steaming. Now I am working over a towel on the floor just so that you know I'm not a savage. Um, I might have been supposed to leave them in longer, but I did rip them open at the top, but they seem like they've grown enough. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that I waited more than six to eight minutes, but I might have no concept of time. Anyway, the next step is to empty three to four seeds in each pod. I'm just gonna do one of each since there's three. Um, so I guess we'll do the watermelon first and then I'll work my way through and put three seeds in each of these and you kind of bury them in. 
it's just, it's always fun. This is like weird, but I always love to like look at the different seeds. I mean, I know what watermelon seeds look like, but it's always so interesting to see what they look like. So I'm just gonna grab three and plop them in. All right, just finished planting all the seeds. I also wrote the names on the little tags and put them in, so I'll show you that. I still need to cover it with plastic wrap though. So this is what it's looking like right now. I put them on a plate so they'd stand up since I'm working on a towel, but a kale, basil, and then the watermelon. Um, and so the next thing is to wrap them in plastic, your planter pot in plastic, and then um, you place it in the sun and wait for it to sprout, and then you transport them outside once they sprout. Of course, it's a pretty gray day out, so not a ton of sun, though there is enough. I have this like um, phone charger that I got. It's a lantern phone charger, and it's a solar-powered one. I just thought that'd be really cool. It's meant for camping, but I was like, well, if the power ever goes out and I charge this thing up, then I can charge a phone and um, there's enough sunlight for it to charge right now. All right, got them all wrapped up in plastic wrap. These are not the only things that I've started from seeds. So we got marigold, I think it was in a Vela box. So I have it split between two pots and those have kind of sprouted. I just turned them around so that they'd start to face the other way again. And then I started growing these um, snap mini snapdragons from the Passionistas project and those have sprouted as well. So I've got quite a few things going here and I'm super excited to see um, what turns out of these. I'll have to let you guys know like in a future subscription box Sunday how these turned out. Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. It's later in the day. I have my AirPods in because I'm about to cook and I like to listen to music while I cook, but pizza time. This is a pizza dough that I usually get at uh, Trader Joe's. Well, I say usually, this is like the second time I'm doing it. So um, I did forget that you have to leave it at room temperature for 20 minutes. So I've waited 20 minutes and then I'm going to flour the surface, roll it out to 12 inch diameter, get pizza toppings. Oh, preheat the oven to 450. Okay, let's do that now um, because I forgot that that... I am so bad at forgetting to preheat ovens. Okay. Um, and you bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. So that is what I'm going to do. that I have the weirdest favorite taste in pizza toppings ever. I love broccoli and olives on pizza. Sometimes I'll do pepperoni too, um, but I forgot to buy that. I also realized when I started baking the pizza, or like getting the pizza ready, that I did not buy cheese. And cheese is like the best part of pizza, so luckily I'm um, smart. What is this piece of hair doing? Uh, I'm smart enough to always have a two pound bag of shredded cheese in my fridge. Um, it was Colby Jack, uh, Colby Jack, Colby Jack, the red, the, the, uh, yellow and the white cheese combined. So I made the pizza with that, which is not ideal for pizza, but I'm also not in the mood to go anywhere. So I am going to tuck into the pizza. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I think it's probably been long enough at this point. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I know I don't do these very often, but I do always have a ton of fun. So I hope that you guys like the vlog. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, and I'll be excited to see you next weekend for a subscription box Sunday. Of course, there's going to be videos throughout the week as well. Um, and if you like vlogs, let me know. I'll keep doing them from time to time. I can't promise they're going to be frequent, but I will try to do them from time to time and I'll see you in my next video.